Today I am trying to figure out how to patch cracks in the cement of my garage because I'm working on the garage floor. I'm painting it a pretty blue. I've already done some of it, but I have to do the rest of it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I've never done it before, but you know, it's just a crack. How difficult could it be? But let me show you where I am right now. So unfortunately I didn't get a lot of great video with this project guys, but I do want to tell you, make sure that you thoroughly clean your floor before you get started with painting it. Now, there are some things you have to do first. You have to use a clean and etch. And you want to read the instructions because I did not, and this is what I did. I made the mistake of pouring the entire gallon on the floor. You're actually supposed to mix it with one gallon of water. Take a stiff bristled brush, clean it really, really good. That's going to remove all the oil and grease and grime, and then rinse it really, really well. Once you've rinsed it, once it's dried, you want to use maybe one to two coats of the bonding primer. This is going to make sure that your paint sticks to the floor. When I first started cleaning this floor, I didn't even realize the extent of these cracks. Once I actually saw how the water just kind of laid in these cracks and it took a long time for these cracks to dry, I decided, you know what, I've got to get some concrete patch and repair and just make sure that I repair this first before, you know, before actually painting it. So I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum concrete patch and repair kit. I've never used it before. They say it's only going to take eight hours for it to dry. But for now, let's just go ahead and mix this up and do it. So I followed the instructions on the back of the container that said mix two parts and one part together. Make sure you got it on a piece of cardboard. But here's where it got a little tricky. I used one of those putty knives, but you gotta get it really, really smooth. And you see here, I had my little helper and it was not quite smooth in some spots. So what I noticed is that it had a little bit of impression there underneath of the paint. So as I got started and went over to those spots that I had filled with, you know, the crack filler, I could actually see the crack filler from underneath. You could see that it was not quite smooth. So just be very careful when you are filling the cracks. Make sure that you have it as smooth as possible while filling those cracks. So anyway, I made my way out of the garage. I used one part epoxy garage paint. You can get this right at Home Depot. And the container says to do two coats, but not to do more than two coats. So I guess, you know, you, you don't want to over coat your garage. Otherwise it might not work. It has a resin in it, so it's supposed to be really hard and durable. And I did this video, actually I completed this part of the garage a year ago. It was actually uh, November 2016 and I'm just now getting around to posting it. And the thing that I wanted to tell you, and this is kind of a good idea, is to do the project and then wait because I wanted to, to find out would this really last? I've gone to the Home Depot website, I've looked at the reviews, and a lot of people said, oh, I've parked my car in there and now the paint is coming up off the floor. Well, that might happen. I've only used mine for foot traffic, so I really can't tell you whether or not this will hold up. But what I can tell you is that if you are trying to make your garage look pretty, your garage floor looks like mine, Painting it is a really good option. It did not cost very much money. I believe the gallon of paint might have been about $35. So for one side, I used one gallon of paint. So keep that in mind, depending on the size of your garage. So overall, I'm really happy with the results. I think for the amount of money that I spent and the results that I've had for the last year, it's been pretty good. And you see the before and after, that is then. And unfortunately, my garage is not as clean now, but you can see here some of the wear and tear that's just naturally taken place over the year. And this is recent, so you can see that line. I still did not do the other side of the garage yet, but it's coming. And I'll be sure to do a fresh coat of paint over the entire garage. Once I do the other side, then I'll just do sort of, you know, the second coat will be an entire coat. So it'll look nice and fresh. So I just got to get all this stuff out of there, guys. Does anybody want to come and help me? Please come and help me. I need help. Anyway, if you like this project and you want more information, go down to the description. There will be a link down there with more information about how I did this project and the materials that I use. And if you subscribe to Thrift Diving, I will give you five eBooks, printables, checklists that you can use to get started with DIY. So I will see you next project and next video.